the ability now to envision a cooperative, a model for a cooperative, a franchise for a cooperative, bringing these tangible farms to communities and setting up more east side cooperatives across the nation, you know what I mean? And then implementing phase B and phase C of the plan, you know, which is now setting up distribution chains where we can target different sectors of business such as restaurant, such as um, you know, farmers markets, things of this nature mm -hmm. that will allow food people trucks. yeah, to get their hands on the tangibles and the tangibles are food, you know. Tangibles at this particular point of food, you know, there's later phases that speak to clothing, there's later phases that speak to shelter. All of these things are intrinsically tied in and there's a working model that is present at this particular time. Yeah. So people have to tell me why they don't want to get on board as opposed to why not getting on board. So the door is open, you feel me? And we waiting on them sleepy moths to wake up and do Indeed. what they got to do and show up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And in Atlanta, we know that the, the family's going to show up in force, the family's going to show up in numbers, and we're going to have a full plate, you know, and everybody will have an opportunity to feast at the table. Show up ready to work, ready to commit to changing our community's conditions. Yeah. Don't just show up to come listen and, and watch, watch and make a family, you know, a family reunion. That's going to happen anyway. But just show up ready to be committed. To, a, to programs that really work, that really issue and change and empower at the same time. Yeah. We have to try and create some type of uh, wealth for our children and uh, we don't want to die leaving them with just an insurance card or some insurance money. We want to leave them running an empire that we're building, that we can reap the benefits today, the children can reap the benefits today, the grandchildren tomorrow, the great-grandchildren, something that will always be intangible, something that will always be sustained. That's what we're doing. Uh, this born and I'm, I'm I'm coming in on the aspect of technology, network marketing, and affiliated marketing, just to lay out the blueprint so the family could begin to take our products. You know what I'm saying? The moringa powder, the kale powder, the Seventh Heaven Seamoss powder, um, the Drop Squad Kitchen, all of the products that they create and apply it to the same mold, the same formula of affiliate marketing and network marketing that has gotten Avon rich, that has gotten MCA rich, that has gotten um, all of the network affiliate market programs rich. So we're going to begin to um, apply that amongst our conglomerate, amongst our consortium, and we're going to take this thing into another realm that, that really was never there. And I'm also proposing the, um, the issuance of stocks and bonds. Uh, duplicating the same form, the same platform, and the same formula that Marcus Mosey Agave did when he built up the Black Star lineup. If you issue stocks and you issue um, stock certificates to anyone who purchases your products and make them not only a customer but part of the business, then you change their vested interest in both the business and the movement. And this is when you'll see the great shift happen.